Hey, what's up, people of the internet? Anorak here from Anorak Gaming Studios, where we're all gaming all the time. Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, where today I will be going over my next deck profile of three decks I've made. Last time we covered Sword Soul Tenyi. Today we're covering Blue Eyes, the classic rival deck. This is what I've chosen to do with it. As you can see, we're running a 41 card deck, so let's get into it. First, main engine guards. Three blue eyes. This is your main combo piece. So, of course, you'll need three of it. Next up, we play... Three. Dictator of D. This is essentially the blue eye centric version of the. Yeah. What's the word I'm looking for? Dark Magician card, Magician's Souls. Right, it's like 2 a.m. here. Uh, anyway, moving on. Next up, three copies of Sage with Eyes of Blue. You discard it and tribute a... a Blue Eyes monster or a card that mentions it on the field. You summon a Blue Eyes. You summon it. You add one light level one tuner from your deck to your hand. Speaking of light level one tuners, three copies of White Stone of Agents. Basically, this card is in your graveyard at the end of a turn, because it was sent there this turn, you can summon a blue eyes from the deck. Moving on. Two, alternative white dragon. Reveal it. Reveal a blue eyes. Summon alternative white. And it destroys a card on effect activation. However, after activating its personal effect, you... After activating its destruction effect, you can't attack with it. One Abyss Dragon. This card searches for both Chaos Form and Polymerization. So you can use it for Fusion and the Ritual Summon. One Jet Dragon summons itself from the hand or graveyard when a Blue Eyes monster destroys a card and banishes on attack for back row. Basically, if there's a back row you don't like, point this at a monster and banish it. This also works on monsters, so you can open up the way for larger attacks from different blue eyes monsters chaos max this is the ritual card it is a big board busting beater and it does piercing damage also cannot be destroyed by opponents card effects The final Blue Eyes card we play is a copy of White Stone of Legend. Basically, if this card is sent to the graveyard, add a Blue Eyes from your deck to your hand. Hand Traps. We are on the Master Duel Standard. 3 Max C, 3 Ash. 
In addition, we are playing one Effect Veiler. Due to Sage with Eyes of Blue's effect to summit to search a light level 1 tuner. And this is essentially free negation. Spell cards. One polymerization. Three melody of awakening dragons. Two cards of consonants. Two return of the dragon lords. One chaos form. As I may have mentioned, this works well with abyss dragon. Back row destruction, two twin twister. Basically, you discard a card. D target two cards. Or up to two cards and destroy them. Two called by. One ultimate fusion. During the main phase, fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck that mentions blue eyes white dragon or blue eyes ultimate dragon as a material. By shuffling the mentioned cards on it from your hand, field, and or graveyard into the deck. Face up cards your then, you can destroy face-up cards your opponent controls up to the number of Blue-Eyes White Dragon and Blue-Eyes Ultimate Dragon used from the field as material for, for the summon. You can activate one Ultimate Fusion per turn. Trap cards. Imperm, because Imperm. True Light, the Blue Eyes centric equivalent to Eternal Soul. Your opponent cannot target Blue Eyes White Dragon in your monster zone with card effects if this face up card is sent from the spell or trap zone to the graveyard. Monsters you control can. Destroy all monsters you control. You can only use one effect of true light. You can only use each of the following effects of true light once per turn. You can activate one of these effects. Effect 1. Special summon a blue eyes from a hand or graveyard. Effect 2. Set a trap that... Set one spell or trap directly from your deck that mentions blue eyes with a different name from cards you control and in your graveyard. Moving on, extra deck. One Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon, unaffected by traps and card effects. Destroy cards when it enters the field. Unaffected by traps and card effects, and can attack all monsters your opponent controls. Once per turn at the end of the damage step, if this card battled, target one trap in your graveyard and set it. This is a good way to recur the infinite impermanence. Twin Burst Dragon. Basically the blue eyes equivalent of Cyber Twin Dragon. It can attack twice. Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. What you want to do is get this in the graveyard so you can negate destruction effects. Hang on a second.
chaos in it. No, that was already in there. Once again, 2 a.m., very sorry. Anyway, moving forward. Sync Rose, Black Rose Moonlight Dragon. The dual dragon form of Black Rose from the manga. If this card is special summoned, or a level 5 or higher monster is special summoned to your opponent's field, target one special summon monster your opponent controls, return that target to the hand. You can only use this effect of Black Rose Moonlight Dragon once per turn. Azure Eyes Silver Dragon, basically a monster born of the body. Spirit Dragon. This has the ability to tag out into either of these. Baron for Omni Negation. Chaos Angel, because Chaos Angel. Xyz Package, number 82, Hope Harbinger, number 80, number 38, Hope Harbinger Titanic Galaxy, Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon, Galaxy Eyes Cypher Blade Dragon, Lynx, Heretic Seal of Heavenly Spears, Nightmare Phoenix, Try to plant Verte Anaconda for fusions. Spellcasters. Selene, Queen of the Master Magicians. Because spellcasters. Anyway, that's the deck. Combo video will be coming later. Hope you enjoyed. Anorak out.